This video is going to show how to take the rapid appliances, which now have pink, and clean them up, fill the holes, and, and prepare them for the patient to wear home. Because what we're suggesting now is that the, the, the take-home prosthetic that the patient is wearing currently after surgery is the prosthetic to use for the bite registration and all the records for going to a final. So bite, reline impression, photographs, send those send those prosthetics in and put these in the mouth, the rapids, especially since now we're adding pink. So let's go through the process. Uh, you, as you can see, these need some work, all right? But it's really not very complicated and um, a staff or a doctor can, can complete this. So what we're gonna use is a burr kit, uh, we're gonna use a light cure unit, stellar material, and then we're gonna use the articulators, uh, sorry, the, the, the models that were created during the surgery, and we're gonna use those, if needed, to articulate, uh, because there was an art, a, a hinge, a vertex hinge that was included. So if you have a bite that was off, or if you really just wanna equilibrate it just perfectly, um, take a bite, take the bite that you used at surgery and add some C2F MUA heads from your kit, right, and articulate. Now maybe this model or one of, maybe it's a single arch and one of these is a tooth model, so be it. So you can articulate if needed. We're not going to articulate today, but it would just be a matter of using some super glue and the bite registration. All right, so we'll set those aside. So the first step is to fill the holes. And um, I like to use this little tip here. This is a composite or endo tip. It's got a very, very small head, a little micro head, and it's easy to get into the gaps. So let's get started. Probably gonna end up using maybe another tube, but we'll see if not, if we need to. So the tip, as you can see, fits nicely down inside of these very small areas. Let me zoom in on here as we do this. All right, so let's, you may need to use your block out rods if there's any gaps between the temp cylinder and the, um, and the prosthetic. Uh, in this case there, I don't believe there were any gaps. So just backfill this. Okay, yeah, you can see there's a little void there. So it's really easy to get the tip in there. The tips on most of these uh, syringable materials are just too big. All right, like that. I'm gonna put material in here that's, I'm gonna put just enough material. I don't wanna overdo it. I don't really want to have to cut any of it back, just like on the day of surgery. Don't want to cut too much of, or any of this stuff back. Just build up right to where you need it, just like that. Okay. Might even be able to just use this tip for the whole job. see on this site there was a little bit of a rotational issue we didn't uh, we weren't able to use a guided mount because it was not in the arsenal that day All right and you always fill up the carrier guide wells That'll do it. Remember, the patient's only going to wear this for the patient's only going to wear this for maybe two weeks. They could just wear it for a few days if you sent the prosthetic in, and um, if you sent the prosthetic in, let the patient wear the take-home prosthetic. <clears throat> Forgive me. If you send us the take-home prosthetic, we could scan it, mount it articulate, do everything we need to do, and we could return it to you if, if you wish. And so maybe this, maybe these rapid appliances were only in the mouth for three or four days. Okay, so that's stellar. You know, it's a tack in about five seconds, full cure in about 20, so we'll just tack it. 
All right, now obviously the patient can't go home with this. So we will fill all of this, fill all of these voids. But before we do that, let's, let's go ahead and do the lower since this tip can still be used. All right, it's not set. So you can really let the material do the work for you by, by putting the tip underneath, let it, let it work its way around. I might have to just push that little bit in there. Have to clean that up a little bit. Obviously, it's going to be covering the cylinder. Okay. Let's fill all the voids. You're really reinforcing this um, this prosthetic and the and the copings, you know, kind of reinforcing the whole apparatus while we're doing this, while we're filling these voids. Okay. All right, good. So I'll just let that, it's a, it's a dual cure. So I'm just gonna set this one aside and let it cure. And then I'm gonna use a bigger tip for, I'm gonna use a bigger tip for this more gross addition of material. This is temporary, so we do not have to build, uh, you know, a perfect, perfect occlusion here. Really, just want to make it so that it's 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 comfortable for the patient. And obviously, you can't have this metal irritating the tongue or getting in the way of the bite. But we don't have to adjust too much metal. We can cover most of it up with some material. And then we can cut it back a little bit if we need to check the bite, you know, adjust for the bite. So again, this was a little bit of an issue with uh, uh, with the guided mount for the implant. The doctor just did not have the right tool on hand, so that's why these implants are in a little, a little different area than we than we had anticipated. All right, so that that's done. <clears throat> that's really completed right there, and we'll we'll. Um, We'll just come back and adjust the metal. You can see there's a little bit of metal exposed here and probably reduce some of this lingual here, but we'll see what it looks like when we articulate it. So I'm gonna hit it with a light and I'll be right back. Okay, now I have added material on the two sides of the lower and I have filled in voids on the upper. All right, looks pretty good. And now I just really want to just feel it because if you if you just look at the prosthetic, I remember from the photos the doctor sent, the midline was off just a tick. So this is how the case goes together. And really there's almost no, there's a little bit of interference back here. We'll drop that down, all right? And then look at the um, linguals of them. Really not, not, it's pretty good, a little interference. Otherwise, I'm just gonna, Make sure that it's smooth. I'm gonna feel it with the fingers, make sure it's smooth, and then can really do the, 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 
the um, occlusal equilibration in the mouth. So I'm just gonna take a round of a roundish burr and I'm just gonna adjust wherever there's a sharp area. I won't adjust all the metal. The metal adjusting is kind of noisy, so I won't adjust it all right now. But want to make, just want to make the appliance comfortable for the patient. Just like that, it becomes smooth. Okay. And even if it is a little bit, uh, a little irritable with some bumps, it'll it'll make their final restoration seem so much more comfortable. Okay, so that's already smooth, just with a little bit of adjustment. Not, no, not too much at all. All right, looks good. A little, little bump there. I added a little bit too much material. Flatten that off. Okay, just like that. Lower. Kind of feel it with your, feel it with your fingers. Smooth, smooth. Good, okay, and here's where there's a little bit of a bite issue because of our material. Let's check that again. Okay. A little bit of a rock. Rock is right here. So I'm gonna adjust a little bit of this. We don't want to add any back in the mouth, so you're better off doing the doing the adjustment in the mouth. Okay. So I'm gonna I would now at this point I would glaze it if I want to. If you want to glaze it, you can. Otherwise, I'm just gonna polish it. Probably just gonna hit it with a little um, star, or you could put it in your uh, pumice. A polishing station and it's ready to deliver all right so that's a very simple process of getting rapid appliances ready for the mouth so in about 15 minutes uh, we converted this rapid appliance that was pretty rough into something that's wearable is it perfect no it's not perfect now you could certainly pick it apart but uh, it is smooth it's polished be nice to the tongue the holes are filled and it'll look beautiful. This is rapid, right? These were always monolithic, and now they're uh, they're really, really aesthetic, and they'll be comfortable enough and suitable while the take-home prosthetics are sent to us with the worked-in bite, so we can either go direct to final or go to printed try-ins. So there's there's the workup for the rapid appliance.